In 2022, IGNOU announced the addition of their new master's program in food safety and quality management, which can be considered as an upgradation of one of their existing programs, PG Diploma in Food Safety and Quality Management. This video includes all the important details regarding the master's program that you must know if you are interested in joining the same. MSc in Food Safety and Quality Management is an online distance learning program offered by the School of Agriculture under Indira Gandhi National Open University. Noi provides a program code for each and every program and the program code for this particular course is MSc FSQM. The medium of study is English. The admissions take place two times a year in January and July sessions. The last date for application submission for the January 2023 session is February 10th. The program offers an exit option for the learners after successful completion of first year with the PG Diploma in Food Safety and Quality Management Certificate. The program also offers lateral entry for the PG Diploma in Food Safety Quality Management holders directly to the second year of the MSc. Let's check out the eligibility criteria for the program. Graduates or postgraduates in science with chemistry, biochemistry or microbiology as one of the subjects. Graduates or postgraduates in allied sciences like agriculture, food science, food technology, food and nutrition, engineering having chemistry and microbiology subjects, post-harvest technology, home science, life science, microbiology, biochemistry, biotechnology, horticulture, dairy technology, veterinary, fisheries, medical, dental, nursing, BAMS, BHMS, hotel management and catering, hospitality management, etc. are eligible to apply for this program. As I mentioned earlier, PG Diploma in Food Safety and Quality Management holders are eligible for the lateral entry to the second year of the MSc. But for the lateral entry, there are a few criteria mentioned in the university site for the PG Diploma holders. Criteria number one. Diploma holders should also have one of the qualifications mentioned in the eligibility requirements for the MSc. Criteria number two, after admission for the lateral entry, the students need to apply for the credit transfer from PGD FSQM to MSc FSQM as per university norms. Criteria number three, these students will also have to complete one additional project work of four credits in the second year of MSc in order to complete the credit scores. The important point here is that the lateral entry to the second year of MSc for PGD FSQM holders will open from July 2023 session only. Let's take a look at the program structure. The program has theory, practical, project work, seminar and dissertation as components. In addition, completion of a MOOC, which is an online course, is also required for the successful completion of the course. The first year syllabus of the MSc is exactly the same as that of the PG Diploma syllabus which includes five theory subjects, food fundamentals and chemistry, food microbiology, food laws and standards, principles of food safety and quality management, food safety and quality management systems, three practical papers including food microbiology, food safety and quality auditing and chemical analysis and quality assurance and one project work. The only difference comes with the credit scores of the project work. In MSc, the project work has 8 credits, whereas in the PG Diploma, it is only 4 credits. That's why PG Diploma holders who take lateral entry to the second year of MSc will have to complete an additional project work of 4 credits in order to complete the credit scores. The second year syllabus consists of 4 theory papers, food toxicology and public health, food biotechnology, recent trends in food technology and safety and research methodology in addition to an online course on novel technologies for food processing and shelf life extension. Along with that, a seminar of 1 credit and a dissertation of 16 credits have to be completed for the award of certificate. And as I mentioned earlier, the lateral entry PG diploma holders will also have to complete an additional project work of 4 credits in the second year. The duration of the program is minimum 2 years and maximum 4 years. The fees of the full program is 26,000 rupees which is to be paid year wise. So that means you'll have to pay 13,000 rupees each year in addition to a registration fee of 300 rupees. Classes for theory and practical sessions are held at the study centers which are usually conducted on weekends. 
at least 75 percentage attendance in practical sessions are essential to be eligible to attend practical examinations which will be conducted in the study centers as well according to the university schedules attending theory classes is not compulsory theory exams will be conducted two times a year in july and december terms the pass percentage for the program is not specified in the university website however in general the pass percentage for ignois masters programs is 40 percentage so we can assume that the pass percentage for this program as well will be 40 percentage so you'll have to score at least 40 percentage in both theory and practical examinations as well as in all the assignments and project works there is no admission test or entrance examinations for the admission to this course if you meet the eligibility criteria you can directly apply through the official website of ignoyu but I'll definitely suggest you to go to the university website and check for the study centers. There are over 36 study centers available for this program all over India. I'll provide a link to the university site in my description box where the study centers are mentioned. You can go there and check and make sure that you have one year to the place you live or you can reach up to during weekends for the practical sessions. So in that way, you can avoid the inconveniences that may occur later related to the commute. I hope this video was informative and helpful to you. If you have any doubts or queries, please feel free to ask that in the comment section below. We will try to answer you as quick as possible. So for now, thank you for watching and happy learning.